I V M. We would like to thank Storytel for sponsoring this show. Storytel is an audiobook platform that lets you hear hundreds of thousands of stories on your mobile, on your PC, wherever you prefer. You can get a great deal by signing up at storytel.com slash IVM. This week, I'm going to recommend a book called The Pleasure of Finding Things Out. It's a book by Richard P. Feynman. Richard P. Feynman, if you're unaware, is one of the most impressive physicists of the 20th century. He's been a public intellectual. You'll find him in all kinds of videos on YouTube. Really, really fun guy to watch and listen to. This is a series of articles, interviews, essays, all that kind of stuff put together, like, you know, short works put together. Really, really fun read. Definitely check it out. The Pleasure of Finding Things Out by Richard P. Feynman. You can get this on storytell.com slash IVM. If you go and sign up from that link, what you'll get is your first month for 99 rupees instead of 299 rupees. That's 200 bucks off your first month. Go check it out. Storytell.com slash IVM. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashtin Doctor, your Habit Coach. And today's fun fact of the day has to do with lullabies. Did you know that the word lullaby originated because of a demon that would steal the souls of children? In the Jewish mythology of, or, or folklore, there are tales of a female demon called Lilith. And she would roam around at night seducing men and stealing the souls of children as they slept. Lilith plays many different roles throughout mythology and even to this day. So as part of the mythology, she was the first wife of Adam, created by the same clay as him. And while you remember, Eve was made from Adam's rib. So Lilith was banished because she refused to be subservient to Adam, believing that she was the same, after all, the same clay. And hence, recently, she became a strong symbol for the feminist movement. But for now, let's focus on the crazy, stealing the baby's soul part of her life. At night, she would sneak into the room where the baby slept and steal their souls. As a result, mothers would place a little sign on the four walls of the room with the word Lilith Abai, which translates to Lilith Be Gone. The songs she would sing to put her child to sleep were also designed to protect and keep Lilith away. Lilith abais, over a period of time, became lullabies. Today, we sing lullabies to babies to put them to sleep with no intention of keeping Lilith away. Instead, they are used to create a monotonous drone, a soothing sound and a cocoon of comfort. The objective is not to excite the senses but to slowly bore the baby to sleep. And if truth be told, as adults, we too need to be lulled to sleep. We need to feel that place of safety and that cocoon of comfort that we create for our babies. As I like to say, we are all big babies after all. However, what we are taught and the habits we create around sleep are exactly the opposite of what we need to be doing. We try and tire our eyes out to sleep. We feel that exhaustion is the only way to sleep. So we watch a movie on TV or Netflix or we watch the news, not realizing that these are things that excite us and not calm us down. Imagine watching an action movie and then trying to sleep afterwards. It is not an efficient way of doing it. Finally, the light from all these screens causes our sleep cycles to get affected as well. It's like we jet lag ourselves every night. I have done other podcasts on this topic, so I won't deep dive into it here. So today, I want to share a very simple and easy trick that you can do to sleep faster. It starts with using your podcast or audiobook and listening to it in a different way. Since you're already a listener of this episode, I know that you listen to podcasts. Did you know that you can control the speed of your podcast on most players? For example, I like to listen to podcasts at 2x speed when I'm driving or walking. It takes a little effort and training to be able to listen and understand that fast. And I'll probably do another episode on how to train yourself to listen to podcasts and audiobooks faster. However, when you sleep, I want you to do the exact opposite. I normally put the speed to 1.75 or 0.5x. And this does something amazing. It makes the speaker sound slow and very soothing. 
So set a timer on your podcast or audiobook app to shut off automatically after 20 minutes. By then, you should have fallen asleep with this slow way of talking. And this is a beautiful habit for people who find it difficult to fall asleep. So your simple habit to fall asleep faster starts by getting a podcast app or an audiobook app that allows you to adjust the speed of the podcast. Next, see if it has an auto shut off timer on it. Set that timer to 20 minutes. Now, before you go to bed, I want you to switch off all the lights and put your phone on the dimmest setting. Play the podcast at 0.75 or 5x speed, where the person is speaking much slower and has a soothing sort of voice. This is our adult version of a lullaby. We basically need some company to fall asleep, something to make us feel safe and secure. and this habit does this very very well so start these habits and share with us your progress using the hashtag #thehabitcoach if you like this podcast don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the ivm network you can listen to us on the ivm podcast app or ivmpodcast.com you can also follow us on social media we are at ivm podcasts on twitter and instagram if you want to reach out to me i am ashdin doc on Twitter and Instagram. You can find lots more information on my website awesome180.com or check out different content on my YouTube channel called A W E S O M E 180. That's awesome180. I hope you enjoyed that show. If you aren't following us on social media, it's 2021 now. It's time you did. You didn't in 2020. That was bad enough. But now in 2021, you really, really should. It's IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And a quick reminder to everybody: just please help us out with our survey, ivmpodcast.com/survey. We've had a number of you fill it out so far, but we want to shatter last year's number, right? Really, really blow that up. Go fill out the survey over there. If you do, we'll select from the emails that we have got submitted, and we'll be sending out some interesting swag to people. So. So, what should you be listening to this week? First thing I want to talk about is the unprecedented episode. We did a triple crossover: Vineet Kanabar from Storytellers and Storytellers, Varun Dugirala from Advertising is Dead, and Karthik Nagarajan from the Filter Coffee Podcast. All got together and put together a mega episode. Do check it out on whichever of their feeds you want. It's available on all three. On Nankari, the guy spoke about the history of alcohol in India. It's got a longer history than people would think. Definitely do check it out. Another show I want to call out this week a little bit is the note by Maruki Nayak. Maruki had two fantastic episodes this week. She did her first episode with Amitabh Mathu about the elections in Kashmir, and then she did another one where she told the story of how she faked her identity to interview Benazir Bhutto. Definitely do check it out. And with that, I hope to see you again next week. Want to learn something new and have a few minutes to spare? Well, then go for the Traveling Professor's Diary, where I, Sadhan Deshmukh, the Traveling Professor. will help you glean from all the insights that i've gained from wherever i've traveled learned taught and repeated join me every tuesday and thursday on the ivm podcast website app or wherever you get your podcasts from